everybody, this is Kodak here. I sure hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I certainly am. I just got back from catching 10, yes, 10 shiny Chikoritas, Chikorita being my favorite starter of all time, and I was able to finally get my hands on one of these. These are uh, breakout beasts. They're mega constructs, which means they are by Mattel, and uh, this thing, the first time I saw it, it gave me a visceral happiness response. You know why? Because Look at the designs on here. This is Mega Bloks Dragons 2.0. Mega Bloks Dragons was um, was one of my favorite lines growing up. They kind of had these large dragon figures along with it. They had a lot of cool stuff in Mega Bloks Dragons. They had the soldier characters who were like He-Man size. They had like the big old wide shoulders and the heavy armor and stuff. And of course they had the dragons. The dragons were these sorts of uh, glorified action figures admittedly, but they looked great. They had like a magnet in their, in their hand that let them pick up and grab the soldiers and eat them and stuff. It was it was wonderful. And this has, is a, sort of their reincarnation in the form of Breakout Beasts. Now, the theme of Breakout Beasts, it's similar to something like LOL Surprise, where it is a sort of large blind box thing. And after LOL Surprise's success, there have actually been a lot of toys that are trying to capitalize on that by aiming them at a boy's market. I know there are a, there are a couple at least. Um, there's one that is all about robots that sort of has a similar design and is also by MGA, the people behind LOL Surprise. And there's also another one that's like about pirate skeletons or something, but this Breakout Beast, it's, it's monsters. Monsters that look a lot like the stuff from the classic Mega Bloks Dragons, which I just absolutely enjoy. And the fact that it's Breakout Beasts means they can do more than just the dragons. Like over here, they have this wolf. And I actually kind of hope I get the wolf because the wolf looks amazing. It's like, uh, well, let's see if I can uh, tone down the reflections a bit there. There we go. It's, uh, it looks like Fenrir being uh, bound up by Glitnir. It's, it's, it's got a really nice look to it. Um, we also have, uh, this one looks kind of like something out of How to Train Your Dragon. Um, that one looks like something kind of out of monster. We got like a green dragon, a blue dragon. We have the wolf. We have sort of this brown dragon that's covered in little armor plates. And we have, of course, the classic red dragon with the large rings, uh, the, the large wings. Uh, series one, uh, there's four depicted here. Oh, there's five depicted here. I think there are actually six to this set. Um, and another thing about this thing is this thing is actually really heavy. And that's because what else it has in it is it also has a bunch of slime inside of it, at least if the commercial is to be believed. I uh, believe me, underneath this thing, I have uh, I have a, a spill tray in case uh, in case it turns out that the slime is loose. Um, the egg itself has kind of an interesting uh, rock design on it. That's something I really loved about the original dragons. It has studs on the top and it has studs on the bottom as well. It, it doesn't have any recessed studs, which is a bit of a shame, it means I can't like attach it to any sorts of designs. Although at the same time, that's nice because these things can be used as a stand to display whatever you get inside of it. And this way you have a, a choice of two halves to go with. Um, although funny thing about the, the slime in here, kind of funny how uh, so many companies keep trying to cash in on trends that start off as uh, do-it-yourself trends. Although I guess the ones that are actually make your own slime kits are okay because people, uh, kids were making slime out of borax, which is just a bad idea. Don't do that. So let's take a look inside here. Um, Unfortunately, the pull tab is right on top of the wolf design that I love so much. Oh, a little stubborn. There it goes. Oh, it looks like this is just the uh, inner wrap. Maybe this is where they keep the, the checklist or something. No, looks like it's just a basic outer wrap. There's also an inner wrap. Let's see if we can, uh, there it is. This is stubborn. Let's uh, give me a sec here. And there we go. It is now fully unveiled. This is the uh, the egg. You can kind of see some of the marbling in here. This kind of marbling is something that really only Mega Constructs does with the. Uh, their uh, pieces, they don't really like to, uh, or Lego doesn't really like to do that kind of thing. Um, the marbling seems, it, it kind of has limited success. I mean, sometimes it looks really nice. Like this looks, uh, it, it, it's got kind of a nice uh, color to it, but at the same time, you got these just big solid 
streaks of red on here that are kind of ugly. Um, that's the problem with this marbling is that it's inconsistent. It makes a lot of the dioramas for their Pokemon look just downright ugly. So let's take a look at what we got in here. Spill tray at the ready. Oh, no, it's in a bag. Good. Um, so that's kind of nice. It's got uh, it's got a, a rubber ring in here. It's got a sort of a, it's got an O-ring here. If you do want to put the slime loose in it, it looks like this is designed to be hermetically sealed so it won't leak on you. We have, uh, oh no, the pieces are inside the slime. Oh, it's kind of, uh, the bag shape here looks uh, kind of like a membrane. So I'm going to have to pour it out anyway. I can't really tell what's inside there. The color of the slime in the bag is kind of obscuring it. So it's a bit difficult to tell. This one felt the heaviest. So we'll see what that does. We've got a checklist. Oh, it's the instruction. So it looks like what I got was Tempest. Oh, I kind of wish I hadn't opened that. Took a bit of the steam out of it, but we also have a, a checklist over here. So yeah, it looks like there are five. Uh, Torchwing, Ironclaw, Boulder, Blackheart, and Tempest. So I got a Wind Dragon. So now we get to actually uh, pour this slime out. Let me reposition here. I'm gonna be honest here. I was not expecting the pieces to actually be inside the slime bag. So. It looks like there's a pull tab at the top here. This is gonna be gross. Oh boy. Oh. And we're just gonna. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but it made a made a whooshing sound. And there it comes. Head first. Oh. Oh God. This is. Oh, I, I, I guess you can't you can't make a dragon without breaking a few eggs, huh? Whoa. Oh, 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 man, that is disgusting. Um. So let's see. It looks like a very very sticky kind of slime, although let's see how easily the pieces come out. Okay, good. This is the kind of slime that uh, doesn't really stick too well to things. So it looks like the pieces will come out relatively unharmed. That's the thing about a lot of like a lot of the, the, the other slime designs is the slime has to be designed to like not stick to anything. So it's not sticking to uh, it's not sticking to my tray. It's not really sticking to the pieces. Ugh. This is a mess. Uh, I think we're gonna have to catch up with you guys a little later. Ah, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, that was a little nightmare. Um, here are all of the uh, the pieces for Tempest. I double checked. I uh, managed to get them all out. Just something to keep in mind. The slime here, because of its blue color, a couple of the pieces, this, this uh, electro breath here and this uh, stand, the clear parts were kind of camouflaged in it. So make extra sure that you get the parts that you need out of the slime before you do it. Here's all the rest of the slime here. It's uh, saving it for now. I don't know if I'll save it for very long, but yeah, like I said, uh, slime, like store-bought slime has to be able to not stick to things and it doesn't really stick to these things, but uh, with all like the nooks and crannies in here, especially on the head, it's just generally a good idea to wash them off after you've uh, freed them from all of the slime and like I said the egg does hermetically seal so if you want to save the slime you certainly have the option now I got the instructions here let's get them together a lot of these pieces I'm noticing seem to be made out of kind of a soft foam uh, not like a foam rubber like a rubberized plastic a lot of them seem to be that way um, some of them are made out of like the standard uh, the standard uh, mega blocks, uh, the mega constructs uh, material, but a lot of it is made out of uh, this other stuff, which is a bit a, a bit weird. It's uh, feels kind of different from how the old uh, classic mega blocks dragons were. So here he is, Tempest. Despite uh, the name Tempest, he doesn't really uh, have much going on in the way of wings, does he? He's just got kind of those arm-mounted things and that fin on his back. He looks like more something you'd expect to swim in the water or something like that. Um, so his face, not a very dragony face going on with him, with these like tusks and those ears and stuff like that. He looks more like an orc or an ogre than an actual dragon. He has uh, three of these fins, one on the back, two on the arms. The arms 
are made of that sort of softer rubber plastic. Uh, so are the fins. We have the silver armor plates on his back and on his rear legs. Those are made out of the harder plastic. Um, we also have his his uh, very skeletal tail with sort of a grabber on the back there. And, uh, you know, uh, not, not bad. A bit, a little bit on the small side. I was hoping for something a little bit larger out of this set, but, you know, it, it, it doesn't look too bad considering everything you get. It also comes with uh, an energy projectile. Let's uh, get that in there. He's got like a hole in his mouth specifically for it. Oh, if I can find it, I'm kind of doing this sitting down. There we go. So yeah, they also gave him a, a breath attack designed to be posed. He's on one of these uh, clear stands. The clear stands have also, I've seen, uh, used in the Pokemon sets. That is a look at Tempest right there. I'm hoping that I can get the the wolf at some point. That would be cool. It's, it's one thing that I don't really like about like these $10 blind bags is they're, they're awfully expensive for such a random chance. I really hope that gets... Uh, fixed at some point and we can get back to a, a more bearable level again but yeah um they had orc dragons in the original mega Bloks dragon so yeah this is kind of a fun blast from the past for me the fact that they use so many of the rubberized plastic pieces is a little bit off-putting but otherwise i think this is uh this is a riot the slime is a bit of a pain i wish it was packaged separately from the pieces i guess that's in order to uh, prolong the opening time that seems to be a, a common theme of toys lately but otherwise you know I had some fun. It was it was a bit of a chore getting it out of the slime, but once I got it together, I, I kind of like it. It poses uh, poses uh, shoulders, uh, hips, head, tail, and uh, they also have a suggestion in here to build and combine them. And combining them is something I always love. I love modular toys that let you just go crazy with their design. So that should be something to look forward to. All right, so that is a look at Breakout Beasts, Tempest, and until next time, this is Kodak signing off.